know and all of your viewers and listeners know that the American dream has become more and more out of reach over time. It has gotten worse uh, under the leadership of our current president, but it didn't start under the leadership of our current president. We have been uh, disinvesting, walking away, uh, uh, giving up on uh, investing our time and our ideas and our money in the kinds of things that enable people uh, to lift themselves and their families uh, to a better life. So that in many respects, the anger and the anxiety uh, that I see abroad uh, uh, all around America is uh, not only justified, but it's familiar. It's familiar. Because I can remember um, what it felt like when the, uh, when the steel mills closed uh, and, uh, and left people feeling like the economy has sort of just gotten up and, uh, and, uh, and left us behind on the South Side. I remember what it felt like and looked like when opioids came uh, to fill that void in my own home, let alone the neighborhood. Uh, and I remember what it felt like and still do and did throughout my uh, adult years and in my campaigns for governor of Massachusetts uh, and in service to have people's issues come to the top of the agenda during the campaign and then vanish in between the campaign. 